Henry Mancini was an American composer, conductor, and arranger, widely regarded as one of the most versatile and influential musicians in the history of film and television music. Born Enrico Nicola Mancini on April 16, 1924, in Cleveland, Ohio, Mancini grew up in West Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, in a family of Italian immigrants. His father, an amateur musician, encouraged young Henry to take up the flute, which marked the beginning of his lifelong passion for music. Mancini's formal musical education began at the Juilliard School of Music in New York City, but it was interrupted by World War II, during which he served in the Army Air Forces. After the war, he resumed his studies and began working as a pianist and arranger for the newly formed Glenn Miller Orchestra under the direction of Tex Benic. Mancini's big break came in 1952 when he was hired by Universal Pictures as a staff composer. He contributed music to numerous films during this period, but it was his work on the 1954 film The Glenn Miller Story that brought him significant recognition. Mancini's score for the film, which included arrangements of Miller's hits, earned him an Academy Award nomination and established him as a rising star in Hollywood. The 1960s marked the peak of Mancini's career, beginning with his iconic score for the television series Peter Gunn, 1958 to 1961. The Peter Gunn theme, with its jazzy, pulsating rhythm, became an instant classic and won Mancini two Grammy Awards. This was followed by his work on the 1961 film Breakfast at Tiffany's, where he composed one of his most famous pieces, Moon River. Sung by Audrey Hepburn in the film, Moon River won the Academy Award for Best Original Song and became an enduring standard in popular music. Mancini's collaboration with director Blake Edwards proved to be one of the most fruitful partnerships in film history. He composed the scores for many of Edwards' films, including The Pink Panther, 1963, for which Mancini created the unforgettable Pink Panther theme. This playful, jazzy tune became synonymous with the character of the bumbling Inspector Clouseau's and remains one of the most recognizable pieces of film music. Throughout his career, Mancini was known for his ability to blend various musical styles, including jazz, classical, and pop, into his film and television scores. His versatility allowed him to work on a wide range of projects, from comedies to dramas to thrillers. Some of his other notable works include the scores for Charade, 1963, Days of Wine and Roses, 1962, Hatari, 1962, and Victor Victoria, 1982. Mancini's contributions to music were not limited to film and television. He also composed concert works, conducted orchestras, and released numerous albums, many of which featured his film music and original compositions. Over the course of his career, he won four Academy Awards, 20 Grammy Awards, and a Golden Globe, among many other accolades. Henry Mancini passed away on June 14, 1994, in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 70. His legacy as one of the greatest composers of the 20th century remains intact, with his music continuing to be celebrated and performed around the world. Mancini's ability to create melodies that are both memorable and emotionally resonant has ensured that his work remains a vital part of the cultural landscape. There are thousands more great videos like this on the channel. Please take a look, share and subscribe or visit the Bonswivit shop on eBay which has over a quarter of a million rare and collectible items listed.